Okay, so um, I'm gonna have to do it like this. Um, yeah, hey guys. Uh, I was gonna make my last, I think, DV update like this, but then I realized that I can't edit the files from this camera. I have to check the time also so I don't go too long. Um, I can't edit the files from this camera, so um, I couldn't use this that update because. Well, because um, I can't edit, and I put on the camera before. But so I just felt that I would, um, well, just do it like this. Just walk up, and uh, I might do it other times too. But I'm gonna do a Christmas movie. I'm gonna talk about some Christmas movies. So I wanted to sit like this, uh, and the camera is very far away. That's what I don't like about this camera. That um, well, you, it's very narrow. The sort of path or whatever from that that the camera shoots in it should be much wider so I have to have it very far away but I'm basically just gonna talk about a couple of Christmas movies here um, I know it's only October it's very early for this really but the reason I do this this early is because um, well, I've already started watching some of them and I don't want to have have watched them all before I make this video so um, I'm just going to start with the ones that I have watched. Um, so, Christmas with the Cranks. Uh, I've seen this three times now and I think it is... It's very funny. I, I, uh, it's um, almost on a Christmas movie that you can watch in the summer too. Because they it's about them too. They celebrate Christmas for the first time without their daughter in 20 something years. And they decide to go on a cruise instead and skip Christmas. And they're having a pretty hard time to make that happen so uh, yeah uh, I saw it now just a couple days ago or a week ago maybe I can't remember but uh, I'm probably gonna watch it again close to Christmas this year because I think it's hilarious uh, and then I also watched this is sort of a guilty pleasure but it's the holiday and this is uh, I'm not sure if I would call this a Christmas movie, it's just a movie that takes place during Christmas. Um, but I think this is a pretty wonderful movie actually. Uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, 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 I, li these are, I like these kinds of movies, but this one is it's special, I just, I really enjoy this one. Uh, basically Kate Winslet and um, Cameron Diaz character, they are, they're pretty much having guy problems and they are sick of it and they decide to trade houses for over the holiday for like two weeks. So uh, Kate Winslet in her small uh, house or maybe almost cabin in this beautiful English little town, um, she, she switched houses with Cameron Diaz who lives in LA. Uh, this huge um, luxury house with a, a gate and everything. So they switch places and they mo both meet new people and I think it's a pretty wonderful movie as I said. So uh, The Holiday, high re highly recommended. Then I also saw uh, The Family Man which kind of is, as I said, all not really a Christmas movie. It just takes place during Christmas. Um, and um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't as good the second time, but uh, it's definitely a recommended one on a cozy movie. That's what I look for in Christmas movies. I guess if most people who like Christmas movies look for cozy movies, because that's pretty much related to Christmas, or it is. But I mean, well, uh, it starts Nicolas Cage, anyway, and also Jeremy Piven. Um, there's some funny outtakes on here also, which I, which I might just mention. So, uh, yeah, fun movie. Then the next one isn't really that good, but it's a uh, jingle all the way. I watched this a while ago, a couple months ago, I think. And uh, I, I liked it, but now when I was going to rewatch it, I just couldn't stand it because I thought it was really bad. So I turned it off, and then I put it in again, like... 50 minutes into the movie where I had before stopped and uh, watched maybe 50 minutes more. <laughs> but 
but I don't think I will finish this movie uh, again. It's 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 okay, but it's just I don't know, kind of cheesy. I don't know. Um, then we got a very different movie, uh, Bad Santa. This is, I, I recently talked about this on the, in the DVD update, but it's a Christmas movie, so of course I'm going to include it here. But uh, it's a fun movie, but not what I look for in a Christmas movie, but I, I give it 7 out of 10 because it was very funny and, and really good. Um, Fred Claus. Uh, just some funny, fun uh, well, information about this. I, this is probably the most expensive DVD that, that I have. I didn't pay for it actually, so I can't pay. So I can't say the most DVD, the most expensive DVD that I bought. But this was like two hundred and fifty crowns at this ridiculously expensive but very good store, which is now closed, I believe, in Stockholm, called like uh, Super Duper Mega Diaper Store or something. So um, I can't remember what it's called, but it was like Super Mega Media. So I don't know. Um, but I haven't seen it in two years, but I'm gonna rewatch it. I just can't take too long with these movies. I have some that I want to talk about that I don't have on DVD. So uh, next is Christmas Vacation, which is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. Maybe my fifth favorite movie or something. So yeah, very high up. I have rated a ten actually, but I'm not sure if it if it is too much. It might be a, th a nine. And if it is, I'm gonna change it to a nine. It's definitely not my fifth favorite movie of all time but I don't think that I need to change it because this is just so good you can rewatch this I mean, so many times um, there's a commentary on here actually which I didn't know I might watch it like that this year so uh, everyone knows about that of course uh, then we got the, the Polar Express I have a 3D one as well uh, but um, it's a very um, very cozy Chris Christmas children's movie. Uh, a bit creepy animation, but um, but you know it's I don't care. I think it is wonderful. I use wonderful many times in this video, but <laughs> that's what I look for in a Christmas movie. Um, and maybe it's a bit of a guilty pleasure the whole Christmas thing for me also. But anyway. Um, just a very good movie. I love this one. Then a then all, all, only a couple of Swedish ones left here, and then a, a couple that I'm gonna talk about. Just briefly mention. Uh, I might have some other movies in my collection that I forgot about. I hope not. But then there's a bunch of movies that I have seen, but that I probably don't remember. But um, Tomten i far till barnen. That means. Santa's father to all the kids, I guess. Uh, just a bunch of bunch of people gathering for a um, Christmas party, and all things, kinds of things go wrong, or mainly mainly one thing, one thing I think. But but um, I've only seen this once, or maybe yeah, no, twice, once like eight years ago. But so that I don't remember. But um, I love this one, and then two cr shows that I can relate. I have talked about this a lot. But they're part of um, yearly shows for children that are shown in December every year. Well, I said yearly, so. Uh, as soon as you from ni 1991. And Håkan Bråkan, which is almost a sequel to this. They are the same age, and this is from 2003. But it's the same characters. Not the same actors, obviously, because it's they play the same age, and it's, it's 12, 12 years later. Um, but uh, this this one is a classic in Sweden. Ten out of ten for this one. This one is a crappy show, but I happen to love it. It's nine out of ten for this. Uh, yeah, this show focuses on Sune. That's his name. That this show is about. And uh, Håkan, That's his little brother. And this one sh focuses on the little brother. But all of the characters are in, in both of the shows. I think it might have been ten minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna mention a couple other ones. Uh, you know, Home Alone. I have the fourth one, but that's not worth showing. And uh, I want to get the first three as well, especially the first two. I want to rewatch for like the billionth and the one hundred thousand time. Uh, no wait, billionth, one hundred thousand.
was my first time. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, also the, a Christmas story I wanna rewatch. That was excellent. And I wanna watch Santa Claus for the first time uh, with Tim Allen. And um, I'm I'm probably gonna order some of them uh, before Christmas. I I'm gonna try to anyway. Uh, get a visa card which I don't have, so I can't order. That's why I don't. Uh, but I'm hopefully gonna get that eventually now before. So and then I'm gonna look browse through some Christmas lists and uh, probably buy a, a lot of them. Uh, I won't I won't make another video like this. That will be next year if I get a bunch of new this year. Uh, so uh, yeah. But thank you for watching and um, and yeah, I have to go and turn it off now. So, so yeah, thank 11 minutes, so that's no problem. So yeah, uh, see you in my next video.